All right, we made it to Buffalo Bayou Park. It's a huge park system which goes along the Buffalo Bayou, basically between downtown Houston. Just look at this, the cityscape. That's amazing. With this GoPro, you get a great view of the skyscrapers. As I was saying earlier, I definitely like to do a video in downtown Houston sometime. I'll have to come back down here. But that's why I kind of did that little driving segment earlier, just to show a little bit of it. And of course, we'll get a little bit of the sea line all throughout the park. Yep, that's the, the visitor center. And also, you can do some bike rentals too if you like. So, we're going to go explore the park. Yeah, this is really cool. We got a little skate park here as well. But yeah, it's right around 80 degrees right now. Fahrenheit are almost 26, 27 degrees Celsius, and it feels wonderful out right now, especially coming from Michigan. As you can tell, spring is definitely here in Houston. You can see, see the leaves starting to come in a little bit. Back in Michigan, we won't be seeing this for another two months. But yeah, right down there, that is the Buffalo Bayou. We saw that earlier when we were over at Battleship Texas. That's because the bayou continues through downtown Houston and heads out to the Houston Ship Channel where it gets much, much larger. As it's one of the largest ports in all the United States. But yeah, but unfortunately last year in late August, Hurricane Harvey had a huge impact here in Houston. The horrible floods were going on here. Like where we are right now, this was all underwater. When her like during Hurricane Harvey. So it's really nice to see that. park is continuing to prosper here. But yeah, what I'm trying to do too is I want to get a great picture of the, of the cityscape of Houston. I think we can get one further, further upstream. So I'm trying to scout some places while I'm here. I think I found a perfect place to get a good picture of the of the cityscape. Not only that, but also get the Buffalo Bayou in the in the picture as well. So we're gonna just walk over there and we will get a great view of the city. Because like what I'm trying to do, well at the same time, be careful because one wrong move, I'll go right in the in the bayou. But if I try to get a, a good view of all the skyscrapers, get everything, all, well, all the main skyscrapers in the picture, and then when the breeze kind of stops, you can see a little bit of the shadows of the skyscrapers down in the bayou. Can't really see it right now because it's a little breezy. But when the breeze stops, you can you can see a great reflection. It's not perfect because the bayou, as you can tell, is not crystal clear, but just makes for 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 an amazing shot of downtown Houston. This could be a great picture. Got a bunch of horses going down Memorial Drive. I'm going to try to get this on uh, 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 on camera.
We just crossed the bridge to the, to the south side of the Buffalo Bayou, and this is the Houston Police Officers Memorial. This was this is or this was built in dedication to the to all the Houston police officers who have who have sacrificed their lives for the for the benefit of others. All right, made over to Eleanor Tinsley Park. This is a part of the Buffalo Bayou Park. And yeah, over there, that's the Bud Light Amphitheater. Like over here, yeah, they can put on a lot, a lot of great performances over here. Wow, oh wow. I've never seen so many portable restrooms line up along in here any, well, anywhere that I've ever been to. And then I got some areas where you can wash your hands. Yeah, it's gotta be for, for, for the amphitheater. Yep, and we're almost back to where we started. Just gotta get back on the bridge there and cross over and then get back to my car. But yeah, all throughout the park, these birds look really cool. I'm not sure what they're called, but, uh, but they're really amazing. But yeah, my cousin Lauren was telling me about this park. I was talking with her not too long ago. And yeah, but, and yeah Lauren's yeah, my cousin who lives out in Colorado. She was actually born here in Houston and lived and lived here for quite a, quite a bit of time until I think about a few years ago when she moved out to Winter Park in Colorado. Bip. <laughs> Many special thanks for or to Lauren for recommending this park to me. With the with the great skyline of downtown Houston and the Buffalo Bayou, I'm definitely glad I checked out the park. All right, so coming up next in this video, whether it's going to be in the next part or continuing in this video, we're going to check out some other cool places in Houston. One site which many people like to go to in Houston, that's in the Uptown area. And at the same time, we'll be going to do some areas that you usually don't see too often in like travel vlogs or anything like that. Because there are some areas that I remember going to when I was a, a little kid when I used to live here for a few years. So let's go. Chimney Rock slash Wurt Road. But yeah, this is the huge Katy Freeway slash Tollway. The toll road's all the way over to the loft. But yeah, it's a huge freeway. So many lanes. Like probably, I think probably the most in the entire continent. We'll be getting off of that because there's a lot of traffic on it. Turning here, and we are now in the Spring Branch district of Houston. Spring Branch is pretty much located generally between the 610 loop, 290, and then going west toward the Beltway, and then going north of I 10. Yeah, 
there's a house I'm gonna I'm gonna go by, which happened to be uh, my my dad's mother, so my, my paternal grandmother, who still lives down here with my aunt. She and her husband, my step grandfather, yeah, they used to live a uh, live in a house in this general area in Spring Ridge. Right around the, they moved into it right around the time where my parents and I moved back up to Michigan. I'm not gonna really show the exact street name or anything, but it's like northeast of the intersection of Westview and Word. Yep, there it is, although you can't really see it too well. That's where they used to live. Yeah, there's been a couple of times before I've gone to that house. Uh, oops. <laughs> of course, the first time when they first moved in, right before we moved back up to Michigan, and then also a year later, my mother and I came down, and my dad later, like we were down here for a couple of weeks, uh, mostly because my two oldest nieces were, were being born down here, and I got to stay a night or two with my, with my grandma, and I remember I used to go there. I remember hearing the birds next door, and I remember my grandma and I were watching a lot of tennis back when back when uh, Pete Sampras was playing in, playing at playing at I believe it was believe it was uh, Wimbledon. Up, so next we're yeah, we're gonna make our way over to the to the area where the Galleria is. Well, the Gallery of Houston. I know there's a gallery up in Dallas as well. I'm not gonna be going into the. I'm probably not gonna go into the mall or anything. But what I do want to check out, which I went to when I was a kid when I lived down here, there's a huge water wall that's located just south of Williams Tower. So we'll definitely get get that in the vlog. And I've checked out some different Houston vlogs on YouTube, and yeah, a lot of people go to the water wall. So, why not be another? <laughs> yeah, for what I heard, a lot of the neighborhoods out in this area... They're, yeah, they're very, like... Or quite a bit upscale, especially as you go a little bit further west of Chimney Rock. Because you have like Hunter's Creek Village, Piney Point Village. Pretty much places where you have to have lots and lots and lots of money. <laughs> same time there's lots and lots of traffic but Houston is well known for its traffic now we're getting closer it's... now we're getting on the West Timer that's actually a little bit of a shortcut we go out to the right but I'll show where the Galleria is so I'm gonna continue Long West Timer, be up yeah, that big tower. That's the Williams Tower. It's the tall. It's the tallest building here in the uptown part of Houston. Yeah, second thought, we're gonna get out of the traffic jam, man. Yeah, the gallery is just to our left. It's a very upscale mall. But figure we'll just turn on Sage Road and get around that. Now we're gonna go find a parking spot somewhere in this area so I can. He's on the wrong side of the road, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're already made to the uptown area. Just we're just south of the Galleria and got the Williams Tower. 
literally towering right over us right now. Yep, and this is what I was telling you about. This is the Gerald D. Hines water wall park. Well, all this is all, all this here between the, the water wall itself and Williams Tower. It's been around since 1983. And for what I saw online, this thing pumps out around 11,000 gallons of water per minute. Well, I gotta say, that is really cool. Just gotta love the, the sound of the water coming all the way down. All right, before I get back in my car, I'm parked over in there in the Williams Tower visitor parking lot. To park over there, yeah, yeah it's credit card only, but they're parking a, a secure area, so I'm gonna walk around the little area, kind of get around Williams Tower near the Galleria, and then we'll start making my way west. Uh, later today, I also want to go by my grandma's other house that she lived in. It's the one that she lived in while we were living down here. Oh, here comes the breeze. Good afternoon, early evening. I'm going to my aunt's house. Uh, she lives out like west of Houston, not all the way out to Katy, but kind of like out in that general area. I'll be staying. I'll be staying with her for the weekend, seeing my aunt and my my grandmother. Who I was talking about? I'll be going by a couple of the houses she used to live in. Another another cousin of mine. So I'll be hanging out with them for the weekend. Which would be really cool. I'm definitely excited to see them. Yeah, second thought, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get back in the car and we're gonna drive around some more. Yeah, this is just the north end of the parking garage. All right, we're heading out. So we're just on Post Oak right now. We're going right by the, the water wall. But yeah, I'm really glad I stopped in over there. All right, I'm gonna be slowly make my way to the west. And yeah, I remember going to that Dave and Buster's when I was a kid too. It was we're we're on Richmond right now. That was the first Dave and Buster's I I ever went to. And then I I've, I've been to the and then back home in Michigan I've been to the one up in Utica, which is north of Detroit. Maybe a little bit more to the northwest. Um, I'll keep the camera on for a little bit, except at the red lights. But it, right now, this is Piney Point Village. As I was saying earlier, a lot of the areas in this part of Houston, these are very expensive homes. They're all, there are very expensive homes. But yeah, I won't be filming the entire drive or anything like that. But I'll definitely do quite a bit as we continue heading out toward there around Beltway 8. Like what I've heard, is that, well, especially in the summertime where you get like random thunderstorms due to the humidity, that in one square.
square mile, it could be pouring down rain. You go like another half mile in any direction and it's clear skies like this. Well, not clear skies, but sunny skies like this. We're gonna continue down Memorial. But yeah, you said as you can tell it's very, very large. So it's like, yeah, I could easily do a bunch of driving tours down here, but I probably would have to spend several weeks. <laughs> Memorial Drive is a very popular road, which goes from the Energy Corridor, which is west of the Beltway, out near Highway 6, and it goes all the, and then Memorial Drive goes all the way back the other way to downtown Houston. And it runs all along the Buffalo Bayou going into downtown. And here is good old Buffalo Bayou. Yeah, we're west of the Beltway right now. I'm Briar Forest Drive and it's the school speed limit and people are actually following it. Back home in Michigan, it's almost unheard of, for at least for for where I'm, for where I drive around. And I believe it's down in here. We gotta follow the school speed limit signs too, but it's a subdivision, so no big deal. But yeah, I'm not going to show exactly how to get to where the house is or anything, but... We'll check out the subdivision a little bit. It's a, it's a nice little subdivision. It's like this subdivision goes all the way down, or at least close to where the Buffalo Bayou is. And I believe the north end of the subdivision likely got flooded during Hurricane Harvey, which that's pretty much where their, their house is. Or, well, was. I say was because my grandma obviously doesn't live in that house anymore. Because yet, yeah, her and my step-grandfather would have moved from this subdivision over to that house in Spring Ridge, which we saw earlier. Be a lot of speed bumps. That's one thing I don't see much of in Michigan, in a lot of the subdivisions. Yep, and yep. There's where they lived in, and yeah, unfortunately, I think they got affected by Harvey with the floods, which is very unfortunate. But yeah, I'm, I'm holding it onto my hand right now just because. I'm pr pretty much at a dead end. But yeah, it's like, yeah, Buffalo Bay is just down over in there on the other side of those houses, and yeah, you can still see dumpsters, so yeah, that's. Pretty sad, yeah. Everybody in here got flooded out by Harvey back in August or late August and even early September. All right, just got back on, well, not back on, but I got on Wilcrest Drive just to the west of the subdivision. But yeah, that is really sad. It's hard, it's hard to think what Mother Nature can really do.
led me down to Bel Air Boulevard. I didn't want to sh really show it on video or anything, not really necessary, but yeah, the, I think the, yeah, the former headquarters for Halliburton used to be just to, to the right. Uh, they moved to the north part of the city, up near the airport. But also, yeah, the, yeah, the an office for Taylor Brands, which is, which is the, I think the parent company for the men's warehouse. They got their offices over in this area too, in West Chase. So coming up next, I'm gonna be well. I'm gonna be making my way over to my aunt's house. So make our way over there. Just been just been hanging out, have, having a little bit of pizza, everything's like that. So, gonna came out here for the for the night, and get a good night's sleep, and be hanging out with my aunt, my grandmother, my cousin for the weekend, and probably go off and do some different things too. So, stay tuned. So, if you enjoyed this video, this might even be a two-parter video. Definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up for more. Sky Mini 95 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. Well, thank you for watching today's travel vlog going all around Houston, Texas, and this is Scott sending out.